Hey there, this is uh, Daryl from the Jackson Fishing Team, and uh, getting back on track, I apologize for a week layoff, sort of, on these shad, shad flies that we're doing, but I hope everyone had a good, good Christmas and got what you wanted and all that great stuff. Um, so the fly we're going to get back on track with for shad is going to be O'Neill's Dart fly and it's kind of unique it uses Crelex and at least that's what I'm going to use um, popular colors are gold red which would be like the gold tail and then red for a body um, silver and blue and uh, black and short truce so we will uh, let's take a look at one and uh, get tying it it's Pretty simple. All right, this is O'Neill's uh, dart for uh, for shad. It kind of replicates uh, the dart lure that you can use on a spinning rod, but this is for flies. And uh, notice it's kind of got a weird weird head there. And we will talk about that when we get ready to to start tying it. It's uh, and the materials that we're going to use. All right, let's uh, let's get tying. The hook I'm going to use is a Mustad 3366, a sprout hook in the size six, and uh, I'll debarb that. And I'll just take my little pliers here and squish down the the barb. And if you're into wanting to catch more fish or not let them get off, uh, you don't have to debarb it. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and place this this way and show you how the the head goes on. And the material we're going to use for the head is some cone heads, uh, 4.8 millimeters or 3 sixteenths, it's like a medium in gold. And uh, the first one we'll put on, so because you're going to need two of them, is the, the normal way. And the second one we're going to do is we're going to put the big end first so that way it looks kind of like a rocket ship type thing, as you can see right there on that part. And the next material I'm going to put in, you can do that, this is optional, is going to be some... Uh, 0.025 lead wire, whatever lead size you want to use, but I'm going to put in about approximately six turns. It seems to be about the right amount. If you get to 10, you will, uh, you'll, you'll notice that you can't put the cones together. And No, I thought I broke that off well, but we'll just wrap it in there. And what, and you can see there that, squeeze that together. Just that one extra turn for the .025 created me a problem. But we'll squeeze it together on there. And then, on, as you had seen on the other material, I'm using 210 denier to help push this cone in place. And uh, I'm going to use red. We'll cut the tag end off. 
And again, I'm going to take this back to where the barb was or is, depending on your scenario. Right about there, and I'm going to wind it back up, kind of almost touching turns to uh, to build up this head a little bit. Next material I'm going to use is some Crelex and gold. And I've been practicing, so I've got a little bit left. So one of those strands is enough to do five flies. And I don't know how many. I just took some to, just to see what it would look, what looked right. And I'm going to try to keep this on top of the thread, or on top of the hook, I'm sorry. And I'm going to give it an extra turn under there. And an extra one. And I'm going to take this back up, covering up as much of the gold as I can. And I'm going to kind of give it a, a tapered appearance. And if you're using smaller than 210 denier, you're going to have to make a lot more wraps. Now, I'm, I want this tail to be no longer than, than a half of an inch. So I'm going to trim it off right about there because, as I mentioned in the previous ones, um, shad can be notorious for short strikes. Give it a counter spin a little bit to flatten it and bring it back up. And let's see here. And that feels like it's met from big cup to big cup. And then all we have to do is uh, give it a couple whip finishes. too tight but the knot held. Alright. Then we're going to add a little bit of head cement. You can use UV resin to protect those threads. And we'll let that dry. Well, it's drying. That, that'll be it. That's your O'Neill's dart. Tie them up in whatever colors in your area that shad love. And uh, it'll, it's a fast sinker for sure. At least this one here is. So I'm going to tie up a few more in uh, maybe some silver and blue. And uh, those I'm not going to wait. add additional weight. I'll just use the, the cone heads. But... Uh, we will uh, see how that goes. All right, that's the gold and red. I'll be tying up some, like I said, some silver and blue. And uh, I'm going to tie some up in black and chartreuse using uh, a chartreuse head instead of uh, gold and silver. You could use a red and white traditional dark color cone heads if you can find those. Um, but make sure that you're using like a medium Medium range is about what it calls for for uh, for this uh, size six hook. All right, I'm Daryl. We'll see you on the water, and uh, let me know what you think of uh, 
your your success for shad or what you think of shad fishing with a fly rod. All right, see you on the water.